All right, guys. So finally, Samsung has launched One UI 6 beta program for S23. So if you have Samsung Galaxy S23, then you can experience One UI 6 Android 14 update before the stable release through Samsung's members app. Now, Samsung does change a lot of things with One UI 6. Now, before I talk about features, I want to thank Mint Mobile for partnering with me on this video. So Mint Mobile is owned by Ryan Reynolds, who is also the user of Mint Mobile. So basically, Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for as low as $15 a month. They are built on nation's largest 5G network, so you don't need to sacrifice any coverage, speed, or data. Now, you might be thinking why the cost is low. Now, this is because they sell online directly to you, which cut out the cost of retail store. Now, switching to Mint is super easy thanks to their digital eSIM cards. You can sign up and activate immediately right on your smartphone from the comfort of your home. And if your phone isn't eSIM compatible, Mint will ship you new SIM card free of charge. And now, as a special limited time offer, you get their unlimited plan which is normally only $30 a month for just $15 a month. That's a 50% saving of their already super low price. The whole process only takes 15 minutes and if you get stuck, Mint has a great customer service team to help you through it. So if you want to save money while getting reliable coverage and fast data for a fraction of cost, go to trymintmobile.com slash zile or click the link in the description or scan the QR code to get started with Mint Mobile. So let's go back to the video. So this is the official look at the One UI 6 quick panel. So as you guys can see, the quick panel has different sections. So on top you have two big toggles for Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Now I think these toggles will be customizable so you can add any toggle of your choice at top. Now moving down there is a basic layout of all the quick settings just like we used to have on One UI 5. Now the brightness adjustment bar has its own separate section which includes display related things like dark mode and eye comfort shield. And at the bottom you again have two big toggles to mirror your screen and to see device controls. So overall, I really like the design of the new quick panel in One UI 6. The One UI 6 also brings new emoji design, new fonts for lock screen with a lot of fonts to choose from, new animation for media player which looks really cool. Now there will be a lot more features and changes in One UI 6 which we will see once Samsung released the stable One UI 6 update. Now this One UI 6 beta update is only available for S23 series. So if you have S23, S23 Plus or S23 Ultra then you can enroll into Android 14 One UI 6 beta program through Samsung's members app. And if you talk about the availability, so this update is currently available in US, Germany and South Korea. So if you live in any of these countries then you can download One UI 6 beta update. Now Samsung will add more smartphones like the new Z Flip 5 or maybe even the last year's flagship the S22 or S21 series smartphones to its One UI 6 beta program. And Samsung will also add more countries to its One UI 6 beta program so the users in those countries will also be able to experience One UI 6 beta update. So right now the beta version of One UI 6 is out which means that soon we will get to see the official and the stable One UI 6 based on Android 14. But if you want to experience One UI 6 before the official release, you can do that by joining One UI 6 beta program through Samsung's members app. But I will suggest you to wait till the official Android 14 One UI 6 release because most of the times these beta updates are not stable. The official One UI 6 update will be out in September and that is when we will see all the new features that One UI 6 has. So make sure that you subscribe to this channel for more future updates. And yeah, that's pretty much it from my side. Give this video a thumbs up and I will see you all in the next one. Peace out.